Bill, let's switch gears, talk a little bit about the market now and how you decide when to be in the market or when it's time to sell and raise cash. How would you advise an individual investor to handle that situation? Well, we invented rules on that also. And incidentally, the reason we came up with so many rules is very early on, many years ago, I made all the kind of mistakes that everybody makes. And I would have to go back and figure, now what did I do wrong? And, and how am I going to correct that? And, and what's the answer to this? And I found that most of the bad mistakes were made when the general market was rolling over and topping and everything was going down. And I figured you have to have some kind of a method to tell when is the general market starting to get into trouble. And we tested all the other things. And uh, we don't follow any technical analysts and what they think or what they, they say, but we do track the major market indexes, the, the Dow, the S&P, the NASDAQ, the New York Stock Exchange. And we track them on a day-by-day -day basis on the price and volume changes, and we have built models of what the general market indexes look like when they top. And we've got every top going back for over 100 years, and we uh, I've got every bottom when the market finally hit bottom and it turned around and started a new bull market. So we developed rules based again on the same concept that we did for trying to figure out what does a, a new stock market leader look like? What are the variables? What are the characteristics that show up before it's going to have a big move? What we found, Kate, was that when the market tops, you're usually advancing and advancing, and at some point, you'll start seeing some days where the market closes off a little bit, but the volume is picked up. Through our models, we've determined that when you get five or six days over a short period of maybe four or five weeks where you're getting these distribution days piling up, by the time you get five or six of them, usually that market is going to roll over and it's getting too much distribution, it's going to top, and it's going down. And this works uh, very accurately. Uh, it'll misfire every once in a while, but it, it will not miss a major market top. As a side note, when I came up with this system a number of years ago, we never checked back to 1929 to see how it would have handled 1929. It nailed the top two days after the top. And you had your days of distribution, two or three before the top, and then a couple after. The system has gotten us out of every major bear market for quite a number of cycles. So in other words, and this is kind of key, we're not listening to what somebody in Wall Street thinks the market ought to do. It ought to be bought, or it ought to be sold, or it ought to this, or I believe that. We could care less about that. We're tracking the market itself, seeing what is it actually doing day by day as it's doing it, waiting to watch to see when all of a sudden it changes its nature and it does something that is abnormal that always happens when you're topping. And that's how we make our decisions. So if, if somebody asks me the question, what do you think the market's going to do? I don't know what it's going to do, but I'm tracking it very carefully. And when it starts doing what it's going to do, I'm going to be able to analyze that and see, hey, is this acting wrong? And I've got to start backing away. So for the uh, listeners to this, I would suggest that you get your investor's business daily and read the big picture because they're tracking this all the time. And when you have five or six distribution days, they're going to be showing it in their little market pulse saying there have been six distribution days and they're going to change their situation to saying market is now in a correction. Our people do pretty well with this, but I would suggest that, uh, you know, get get the book, How to Make Money in Stocks and read. There's a whole chapter on general market, how to recognize tops. This current version shows that 07 top when it occurred, and it points out with little arrows showing you each distribution day and when you reach the point where you should be backing away and, and selling. And we did some surveys, too. We did four or five surveys, and we found that we estimated somewhere between 40 and 60 percent of our subscribers recognized these because they'd done their homework, they'd read the books, they'd studied and they were raising cash back in, in November of 2007, and uh, some of them were in uh, uh, June of 2008. I think they were tickled pink because uh, a lot of their friends had lost the 50, 60 percent, and maybe they were down 5 percent or up 3 percent, but not down 20, 30, 40, 50 percent, because they had a set of rules, and they knew what they were looking for, and they recognized it when it was occurring. So. 
the whole concept we're talking about here is track the market itself don't have a lot of personal opinions. Oh, I think the market is great or I think it's bad. Uh, learn to read it and understand what's happening. 